What is up YouTube? It's I Can Swim here with another great tech tutorial made easy for you. Today we're going to be talking about keyboard shortcuts and how they can make your job much easier. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So our first shortcut here today is going to be one that's going to bring up the run dialog box. You may need this if you need to access control panel or services or whatever. Maybe your boss wants you to tweak something in control panel. Who knows? But this shortcut will bring it will bring up the run dialog box nice and quick so that you can you can jump to it and you don't have to worry about trying to find it and then run it as an administrator. It'll do it'll just bring it up for you and you can navigate it right off the bat. So what we're gonna do here is hold down the start key here and then hit the R key as well. And this will bring up the run dialog box. Just like that. And as you can see in mine, um, it brought it up on screen and I just have notepad there. So we can backspace that out. And if you want to go to control panel, all you have to type is control. And then when you hit enter, it will bring up your control panel for you. Just like that. And that's a quick and easy way to bring up the run dialog box and even control panel should you need it. Our next shortcut is going to allow you to right click, do a right click without having to use the mouse. This might be useful in an educational setting like your public school, high school, college, whatever, whatever, university. And you might need this if you need to adjust the settings like your screen is flickering, who knows, there's multiple reasons. So usually you would right click with the mouse as you can see I'm doing now. I'm not touching anything on the keyboard here. Um, but should this right click be disabled, there are alternative ways to get to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the page file, sorry, the page button here and the enter key at the same time. And what that's gonna do is bring up the right click dialog. Just like that on the screen here. So sometimes you'll notice that you can just tap the page key and it will bring up the right click, but sometimes if that's disabled, you can try the page key and enter at the same time, and that will usually work too. This next shortcut is going to be useful for those who have to do a lot of internet surfing. So this is useful should you need to read manuals online or piles and piles of pages when you're really just looking for one little section. So for example, on my screen here, you can see that I have a Toshiba manual up, and I don't really want to read through this. I mean, who does? But I want to I wanna find the disk drives and figure out the hard disk and the size and blah, 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 so on and so forth. So what we can do here is press the Control and F key, and that's going to bring up this Find Dialog box on the screen. So now if we type in hard disk drive, which is HDD, if you didn't know that, and then we hit Enter, it's going to show us where hard drive occurs in this manual. And if you hit enter again, it'll bring up the next one and so forth. And it'll go through all the areas where hard drive occurs or whatever your keyword is. And again, this can be useful in multiple situations like Microsoft Word or anywhere really it'll work on. Another great, another great tip. This brings us to our next shortcut. This shortcut is going to be more appealing for a programmer or someone who's interested in web code. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to a site here. I'm just going to hit Google just because everyone knows it. So let's say you're on this site and you're curious what the code looks like, what how they actually wrote the website, like what goes on behind the scenes. So if you want to quickly see what goes on behind the scenes here, all you have to do is hold the control key and the U key on your keyboard. And that's actually going to bring up this jargon, essentially, for most people. But this is actually source code. This is what they have actually written the website in. So if you were to put this in a note, notepad, um, actually, this is probably encrypted, so maybe not. But for most websites, if you were to put this into notepad, save it as an HTML file and run it, you will essentially have a Google page. Um, again, this isn't the case, most likely, because it looks like it's encrypted. Um, but in theory it works. And again, this is more for a programmer or a web design ex expert, whatever. Maybe you want a reference to what Google used, so you have just building blocks, it doesn't matter. But this is a great little tip on how to get that source code without any complicated mumbo-jumbo that no one understands. Our next shortcut 
is one that's going to be useful should you need to quickly close a page. Maybe you're on a page at school you shouldn't be or at work your boss walks by and you want them to know you're not up to anything. You're not breaking the rules or whatever. So if you're on if you're on your site, whatever, or even in a like Word or Excel or it can it works on all programs. What you're going to do is hold the control key and then tap that W key. And that's going to quickly close the pr whatever program you're in or browser and it'll make it it'll cover your butt essentially and you can go about your day from there have you ever been on that computer system where they have disabled the shutdown button or the log off button and it leaves you very frustrated because they're trying to be secure this shortcut is going to be useful in that situation this not only can shut down a page like a browser page that you have open just like this but also what it's going to do is close all open programs and then I'll bring you to the to the menu where you can either shut down log off hibernate so on and so forth so what we're going to do here is press the alt and f4 key at the same time and that's going to bring up the box you just saw and with this we can then move through and log off, shut down, sleep, whatever, without having to navigate these crazy menus that sometimes don't have that power button. Or maybe you're having a long day and you can't find the power button or don't want to look for it. There's millions of different reasons why you may choose that shortcut, but it will definitely ensure that you can log off safely and securely, no questions asked. This shortcut is one that's going to be useful when you're surfing the internet and you quickly want to open a new tab. So there, there's different, different reasons for this. Um, maybe you just want to quickly open a new tab or you have multiple tabs open and you need to search for something else. Whatever your reason, doesn't matter. But this quick shortcut is going to allow you to open a new tab without having to click the plus icon up here. Um, you might want to do it for convenience or whatever your reason, it doesn't matter. So the shortcut for this is we're going to press control and then the T key. And as you can see up on the screen, it just opened a new tab and we didn't even touch the mouse. So again, this can be useful should you need to quickly open a new tab. Maybe you have multiple open and you're in the middle of typing something and you quickly need to open a new tab without the mouse. And this, this quick little shortcut will do it for you. This next shortcut is one that's going to be useful should you be surfing the internet and you come across something you want to save and get back to. So up here I have, I've strolled the internet and I found a cool picture of a duck. So I really, really like this picture and I want to save it and be able to get back to it. So I want to bookmark it. But sometimes in these new, in these new operating systems and browsers, the bookmarks icon here can be hidden or hard to access. Whatever the reason is, you might not be able to find it. So this shortcut is going to allow you to save that bookmark without having to look for that icon. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hold the control key and then tap that B key. And what that's going to do, well my computer's a little slow, it's going to bring up this bookmarks bar here. And from here you can save it wherever you want and be, you can now access it at a later time. You'll be able to get back to this exact page, which can be quite useful in the day-to-day -day job should you have something you might need for work or school and you can now easily access it without any hassle. It's going to be one that's going to be useful for anyone who has to write an essay or any kind of Word document. So I'm going to open mine. I just have some tech mumbo jumbo here, some computer terms and everything. So let's say I've just worked on this for six hours in a day and I, I I can't remember where that save button is or it's a pain to get to, but we always should save our work because we know how fast it can be deleted and lost forever. And if you're in college, you know that that means you have to start over and there's nothing else they can do. So for this, there is a quick shortcut to ensure your work is saved. All we're going to do is press the control and S key at the same time. And mine hasn't been saved yet, but if yours has, it's just going to save it for you quickly to ensure that you have a copy of your work in the desired location and you can get back to it but you can't take the break or shut down your computer for the day whatever you choose it's just to ensure that you're not going to lose your work because you couldn't find that save button the final shortcut we have here 
is one that's going to be useful should you have multiple windows open and maybe you want to cycle through them and get to a different one you don't see or you need to get back to your desktop. So like if I minimize one and we still have three more behind us but we really need to get back to our desktop. What we can do to quickly cycle through our open tabs is we can hit the Alt and Tab key and that's going to bring up a list of all your open tabs if you hold it and if you while holding the alt button, if you tap tab, it'll cycle through all your open tabs so you can pick the one that you want to get to. Let's say file explorer for whatever reason, whatever I need. And then from there you can just X them and no questions asked, you're back at your desktop. Quick and easy and right at your fingertips. So there's no more worrying about that. Multiple tabs open and you need to search for something else. Whatever your reason, doesn't matter.